Hey what's up guys welcome back to another video this is Arizason and today we shall be testing out the performance of Exynos, Exynos 9810 of the Samsung Galaxy S9 when it is overclocked to 1.7 GHz all its 8 cores or you can say 2 clusters are clocked at their max frequency that I can reach with this kernel and I shall be overclocking them and seeing what the benchmark scores looks like after that and what they used to look before that and also I shall be testing out games like PUBG Mobile to see what is the actual FPS that I can get with overclocked S9. So let's begin. So the first benchmark we are going to use is the N22 benchmark of course. It can also test the GPU and the CPU as well. It can also test the memory and the UI performance of the phone. So I shall let the test go as it takes a lot of time so it is speeded up to 8x so you can enjoy the video in a very less time. So the final scores that we got were 2 lakh and 18,000 or if you want to say that in other words 218k which is quite a lot when it con considered that it is not overclocked yet and it is working fully on its own so i'm going to use the tunnel toolkit app in the play store which requires root of uh, root access of course and i shall be using it to its fullest potential to 1.7 gigahertz and then i shall be testing out the performance of n2 to benchmark and we shall see the scores again and i shall let the testing go just as usual on the 8x speed So this time the story is a lot different we have a really good gain here and it's now at 240k 241k to be precise and it is a really good score for the overclock so the next step we are going to try is the geekbench 4 and it is a cpu benchmarking app which is mainly used by many tech youtubers around the world and it is a really reputable app so we shall be testing that out and what i really saw was very very surprising Without overclocking the phone, I was barely able to cross 2K on the single core, which is quite surprising because it didn't used to be like this, even in the multi-core or the single core. And I don't know what is the reason. Maybe the app got just updated and or maybe there is something wrong with this one. But when I overclocked it, I was able to get pretty good scores. Um, about 9K on the multi-core and, and 3.5K on the single core. Now we're going to test the PUBG Mobile, which is a really good benchmarking app i mean this is not a benchmarking app but this is a standard for gaming right now so we shall be testing the pubg mobile with the overclock and without the overclock the videos are above and you are here to judge and after that the video ends so make sure to watch the whole gaming review of this overclocking phone so here are the videos Reloading. Team match. Let's go.
No mercy! Reloading! Team matched. Let's go. Team match. Let's go.